Welcome back to Big Tuna Sushi. Uh, we have Kyle over here from Crooked Lane Brewery out of Auburn, California. He's going to give us a little backstory about their brewery and he's going to go over some of his flagship beers for us today. How you doing? Thank you. Good, good. How are you? Good, good. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. For coming. Thank you. Absolutely. So I... Hmm. What we have right here in front of us, this is the Mandarin Pale Ale, and this is the Seltzer, the Pomegranate Raspberry Orange. And the fancy thing about these two that we really pride ourselves on is we use real fruit. So it's not preservative. That's why it has a color like this. Mm -hmm. Some of the other seltzers you see, you know, they pour them, they're kind of clear, not really a lot of flavor going on. This, you're going to have real fruit, real flavor, real color. So that's what we like. Same thing with the Mandarin. We're partnered with a local Mandarin bar based out of Auburn. He's also one of our investors. We get, one, obviously when Mandarins are in season, we'll get Mandarins. And that's the Mandarin Pale Ale. And we, yeah, we've got uh, our main three that you're going to find is the One Two Punch, which is a peach and mango easy IPA. We've got the Discover the Unicorn, which is our West Coast IPA. That's our newest flagship. And we have the SR16, which is a double IPA. So that's, you know, 8%. That's if you really want to rock and roll. You know what I mean? We've uh, been a brewery for a little more than six years. Our brewmaster is a female. Our head brewer is a female. Uh, and we pride ourselves on being locally rooted with a little bit of uh, international flavor. Mm -hmm. A couple of our investors are German, so that's why you'll find the other beer that I brought today is the Vito's Brow, the Kolsch. Okay, so, the German influence. Yeah, then. and the big thing for us, it's it's hard to replicate that flavor if you're not in Germany. And we found whatever our formula, it's, it's perfect, it's right, and it actually tastes like something that you would get from Germany. And it's been verified by our German investors who drink it and they're like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. So that's good. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, we've got a collaboration with Jackrabbit Brewing coming up. On Tuesday, we're going to go out to Jackrabbit. Our head brewer, Ellen, she uh, is very familiar with the people over at Jackrabbit. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get together. We're going to do a West Coast IPA. And that should be available, I would say, probably to start at next month. All right. So... We, you know, we're local. We pride ourselves on being very local, very family-oriented company. I came from a distribution company before this. Okay. That was a little bit of a bigger operation, you know, something along the lines of big warehouse, multiple beers, mm -hmm. send it all out. This is very much, you know, we value your opinion, we value your input, right. what are your suggestions? As a salesman, I find my voice being appreciated is very nice. Right. And that's, you know, something very important for Crooked Line. Right, right. So, it seems like a very community-oriented outfit. Now. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. And our Belgian blonde actually just won a gold medal at the brewing conference. So we got that coming back. That's Ellen's pride and joy. That's her baby. Uh, she's got an affinity for German beer. So look for that one coming back out. That'll be in cans and kegs. We've got about 25 different beers on tap up at the brewery, which is Highway 49. Uh, it's just below Grass Valley, if you're familiar with yeah, 80. Yeah, okay. yep. So if we're going German beers, yeah. what do you guys have German-wise? The Kolsch, so we, Yeah, we've got the Kolsch. We have a Schwartz beer. We have a Draw Knife, which is like a lager. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we have the Belgian Blonde. We'll do a, a Hef every now and again. Uh, we'll do a smoked amber lager. We just got done doing that, a Rouse beer. So if you're a smoky fan, we've got that. That's basically all we do for the German beers. We've got uh, two different West Coast IPAs, the Discover, which I brought, and then the Dirt Days, which is a collaboration we did with Mountain Bike Auburn to help kind of rebuild after the fires went up there. Uh, that one's been very popular for us. Our newest hazy is called River Days. So that's kind of one too punchy without the fruit flavor. Where it's just a nice, easy to drink hazy. We've got another double called Dank Mode. Dank Mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so that's another that's another eight and a half. That'll kind of you know you gotta pace yourself with those. Eight and a half. Yeah. Dank mode. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then. Uh, 
like I said, SR-16, that's another big one. And, you know, we'll rotate through lagers and pilsners and German pilsner, German lager, American lager. The big one we've got coming out next week is the Death by One Two Punch, which is a triple, it's a triple IPA. Deadly, I mean. Yeah, 10%. Yeah. 10%, but it drinks like a glass of orange juice. Really? Oh, yeah. So, 10% glass of orange juice. Yeah, it, you know, it tastes not a lot of, you know, uh, hops and, you know, we kind of brewed it by accident and then we released it and then everybody was like, hey, we want this. So we brought it back. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a yeah. great mistake. Yeah, sometimes that's how our best beers are made. You know, it's just by accident. That's kind of how the River Days was. It was, uh, we used the same formula as the one-two punch. We just didn't add the fruit. Mm-hmm. And then that's how we got to that. And that's, what, that's been popular for us. We're kind of in a, a days theme right now. River Days, you know, all that. So, yeah. All right. How did you guys get into the seltzers? Is that a new thing? Or did yeah, you guys do seltzers from the, the get-go? The, no, the seltzer is relatively new. Right? You know, it, there was kind of... It's, you know, you saw the, you know, seltzer craze kind of start to pick up. Right, right. You know, you thought it was kind of just, this will die off. It's not going to be, you know, a big deal. But then it just wouldn't go away, right? So we have our one-two punch, which is almost too big to fail for us. And we're like, all right, let's get something. You know, people don't want the hops or if they don't want, you know, crazy beer flavor. So we got the seltzer, which initially we did the pineapple passion fruit guava, which was... The number one seller at the brewery, it took over one two punch. Oh, whoa. And then we're like, hey, we're onto something with this fresh fruit, and uh, let's let's get it going. And we decided to do this one, which is pomegranate raspberry orange. And this has been a hit for us. Uh, you know, I think people like the color. It's easy to drink for That's the summertime. That's a real nice color. Yeah. And, you know, there's not, you know, I mean, if you drink a few, it'll, you know. Right. But, uh, you know, we like it. And it's, uh, we're going to come out with the PPG. That's what the pineapple passion fruit. That will be in conjunction with it. So we'll run both at the same time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the ladies love it. The fellows love it. And uh, we can't beat it. Very you know I mean? nice. Very nice. Real good. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, anything special about your brewery? Do you guys do, like, local events or anything fun? Yeah. So we do trivia on Thursdays. Uh, we just had comedy night last week. Wednesday. No, this previous Wednesday, actually, we just had that. Uh, we have food trucks that come out. Uh, we've got a local taqueria that comes out every Tuesday, Maria's Taco. She does Taco Tuesday for us. That's huge. You know, we'll have random events. You know, just kind of whatever we got. We like to give back to the community and really invest in them and make sure they've got a nice fun place to see. We've got an outside seating area that's nice. It'll be great for sometime. We've got a band tonight. They're set up the stage. It's going to be a big old shebang. So... Very fun. We've got Very about nice. 25 different beers on tap, so something for everybody there. You know, we've got cans. Everything we keg, we can also. So if you try it on the tap, you're like, oh, I really like this. You get a four pack to go, get a mix pack to go. Actually, we've got flights. You can try a bunch of stuff. So we like it. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys are in the area, go check out Crooked Lane Brewery out of Auburn, California. And of course, if you're in Chico, come eat some sushi, pair it with some beers. Cheers. Cheers, thank you.